Okay, this video is, does a cell phone cause blood sludge? And the answer is yes, okay? Here is the popliteal vein, that's in the leg, right behind the knee, okay? And they put a cell phone there for five minutes, and then they repeated ultrasound uh, imaging of the leg. This is called grayscale ultrasound, standard ultrasound. This is done in a real live patient. Um, and it immediately showed that the blood flow had become abnormal. Normally, you shouldn't see the red blood cells within the vessel, but when they're all clumped together, you can see them with ultrasound. This is called rouleau formation. Rouleau formation means stack of coins in French. The other term to describe this is blood sludge. Okay, so here's right popliteal vein, post five minutes of exposure to cell phone. The cell phone was turned on, but it wasn't being used. It wasn't making a phone call or anything. It was just sitting there turned on, okay? Um, and I just want to show you a little more of the backstory on this. Um, there was a paper written by this lady, Magda Havas, in 2013, where they had noted that you could see blood sludge formed by exposing tissue to wireless technology, things like cell phones and other devices. Um, and they call this, she felt that this was reminiscent of the 1940s through the 1960s, that radar operators who were exposed to a lot of radar uh, would get these types of findings. And she says it leads to a rapid aging syndrome. That doesn't sound good. Just like anything that's dropping blood flow to your tissues um, is bad for you. Anything that makes your blood thicker, like high fat meals, is bad for you. Okay. And, um, you know, if you read like the work of uh, Gregory Sloop, you know, anything that increases blood viscosity will decrease tissue perfusion, decrease tissue oxygenation. So this is bad, especially, you know, a totally young, healthy person, it's not as big of a deal, but a lot of people are not that healthy. And they're already tipped over the edge from high fat meals causing blood sludge, from high sodium meals causing vasoconstriction, from leaky gut causing amyloid clotting, neutrophil activation, natosis, and all these other things. They're getting some pretty thick blood there, not good. And vasoconstricted systems, not good. That means arteries clamp down. So pumping thick blood like a milkshake instead of water through narrow arteries, not good. Okay, so let's go back to this paper again here. By the way, there's a paper at Weston Price. I know you don't love Weston Price, but it was done with dark field microscopy. This is even you know, better technique with real ultrasounds. You can see it live. So because they'd heard about these other episodes of rouleau formation, and they know you can see rouleau formation in the vein sometimes, they put a smartphone uh, up to right behind a person's knee, right behind their knee. I've got my background here because <laughs> I'm in my apartment, you know, so I got it. I love this background anyway. It's like a peacock, Western civilization, the school of Athens. All right, so here's the vein on the pre. So it's anechoic. Well, there's a lack of internal echoes in the vein, popliteal vein right behind the knee. All right, and it was a standard transducer um, done with an experienced technologist linear L2 to 9 probe. That's a pretty standard ultrasound probe. We use those every day, all day long. Not a big deal. Okay, then here was the vein immediately uh, after five minutes exposure. So it has to be something causing endothelial dysfunction because if you just did something to the red blood cells as they were flowing through, they would flow through the vein and you would no longer see them. To have persistent abnormalities on a finding with blood going through it, there must be an injury to the wall of the artery, uh, wall of the vein, it's a vein, we're in the popliteal vein, that's causing the blood flow to be abnormal when it passes through there. Okay, and then why is this highly relevant? I got friends who are cardiologists, you know, and these geniuses will put their cell phone in their front pocket, and I told them, why are you doing that? You know, I know there's an increased incidence of breast cancer if you put your cell phone in your front pocket. Your heart is right there. You're a cardiologist. Don't you think you look like an idiot if you had a heart attack because you had a cell phone in your front pocket? And they kind of looked at me like, oh, I'm sort of a paranoid pain in the ass. But once again, I'm right, okay? And then here's a picture after 10 minutes. They let the patient, after exposure to five minutes, they took a picture, then they let the patient walk around for five minutes and they re-image them. And when they re-image them, you see less of this blood sludge, internal echoes within the popliteal vein here. So here's what normal flow should look like. But you're still seeing some abnormal blood sludge flow in there. And that would suggest to me that it was a transient, mild uh, rouleau formation that gradually tapers away once you remove the cell phone. The, the endothelial cells are recovering. So, you know, I don't know what happened. Maybe the endothelial cells shed their glycocalyx or something. 
you somehow disrupted the uh, zeta potential of the endothelial glycocalyx. It's uh, glycoproteins that line the plasma membrane of the, of the endothelial cells. I don't know, but something like that is what's happening. That's what they think is happening. Okay, so anyways, what's the point of this? Don't carry your cell phone on your body, you know. Carry it in your purse, carry it in your backpack. Try not to be in the habit. You know, you put it next in your front pocket next to your gonads, you might make yourself infertile. You know, you put it in your back pocket next to your rectum. I wonder if that's not associated with the increased incidence of rectal cancers, okay? You put it in your front pocket. You know, it's not going to happen overnight, but for a couple of decades, you increase your risk of breast cancer. So, anyway, cell phone is more dangerous than people think. The other thing, so, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. There's other things we can talk about with cell phones. I'll have, I've got other videos on them and stuff, but, but that's, that's the topic for today. Yes, it induces rouleau formation in your uh, blood vessels.